Hello everyone. So in this video, we will discuss about the frequency response of 5 transistor OTA. So in the previous video, I have discussed about the silhouette concept before that the large signal analysis of the 5 transistor OTA. And in this, I will give a brief introduction of uh, frequency analysis. Later, we will uh, proceed further. So it, it I can say just an introduction, introduction to frequency analysis. So what are the important things that uh, need to be uh, think for uh, frequency analysis and that are also important for the interview purpose. So first thing is that uh, usually we'll see the writing a transfer function. So first thing is transfer function. Uh, for this transfer function, what are the requirement? Uh, means DC gain, pole locations, zero locations. So these are the things required uh, for the uh, transfer function. So this is the one thing in the frequency analysis that we do. That is the transfer function analysis. Okay. And uh, what is the second thing? That is your stability. Stability under this phase margin gain plot. What we see in the gain plot important thing is here UGB okay so uh, I have written the UGB here but this I will list in the third section that is nothing but bandwidth and uh, UGB that is unity gain unity gain bandwidth or I also say it um, gain bandwidth product gain bandwidth so also we write it like omega mu so these are few terminologies related to the frequency analysis and other things that i'll write here this is a phase margin gain plot where ugb is important gain margin is not that important here yeah uh, fourth thing i will say uh, in this transfer function section only is the order of the system order of the so what uh, mean by these all things so i'll give the intro okay so you see what the transfer function and uh, how it can be written okay i'm not exactly going inside this uh, we'll see this thing in linear, uh, in uh, coming uh, lectures of the frequency response where we'll see how to calculate the pole how to calculate the zeros and uh, uh, how this mirror uh, devices this mirror structure is contributing to the zero we will see these things in uh, more detail okay till then we are just introducing what are this uh, means uh, superficial things of the means frequency analysis so let i say the what is the transfer function and uh, uh, yeah a uh, few more things that i will mention here they are very important which are open loop open loop so these are also important terminologies related to the uh, frequency analysis okay so we will see the what is the transfer function and how to write the transfer function and then what is the closed loop open loop and loop gain uh, thing and uh, what is the order of the system here okay so first uh, how to write the transfer function okay let i have uh, uh, two poles and one zero so let i have omega p1 as a pole omega p2 as a pole and omega z1 as a zero and uh, some dc gain that i call a naught so how will i write the transfer function every one of you knows this it is a naught if these all are uh, left side pole and zeros left hand side pole and zeros then it is sy omega p1 it is 1 plus sy omega p2 so this is in general expression that we write okay so what you can see uh, here this is your uh, second order system so now uh, if i in general we see the first order system because our ota is a first order system in general so what is a first order system and how to extend this concept in the open loop response closed loop response and loop gain concept okay so first order system so that is the important thing uh, from the point of view of the analog design first order system it is important from so in general if uh, the first order system is how to write it uh, i can say h of s that i will say 
so t of s or h of s is just just i am writing a transfer function which is nothing but output by input in s domain is equal to what dc gain divided by 1 plus s by omega p1 so this is the first order system so this is the only point of interest here throughout the discussion whenever we design the amplifier where it is a first stage amplifier or two stage amplifier means uh, after uh, this five times to t if we add the second stage our main point of analysis is always the first order system analysis where the gain margin and phase margin are or uh, not gain margin but the phase margin is good enough uh, to get a better stability so first order system is a concern okay so if i say this is my uh, open uh, this is my open loop system okay so it is nothing but i would say gain of my so if there is an amplifier in general this is nothing but function of frequency because this amplifier has one pole and i am considering it as a first order system okay this is my p out so v out by e, v in is nothing but a s and uh, this a s is a or i will say this system this amplifier system is a first order system so this is nothing but an open loop gain also i will say it as so this is the open loop gain where uh, omega p1 is your 3d frequency a0 is a dc gain we all knows a0 is your dc gain and omega p1 is the 3 db frequency of this system 3 db frequency of open loop gain of this amplifier okay so these are the terms related to that so now uh, what i can see this is my open loop transfer function of this amplifier which is dc gain divided by 1 plus s y omega so this is my amplifier which has the transfer function a of s so now suppose this is used in the negative feedback so now it is used in this negative feedback and what is the general expression that i will write here beta if it is used in the negative feedback this is negative positive okay and what is the transfer function that we call the closed loop transfer function it is nothing but open loop transfer function divided by 1 plus beta open loop transfer function and that can be written as a naught 1 plus s y omega p1 divided by 1 plus beta a naught 1 plus s y omega p omega p1 so from here what we will see a closed loop gain is yeah so from what we can write a naught uh, 1 plus beta a naught plus uh, 1 plus beta a naught s y omega p1 let uh, take this a plus beta a naught outside so what i can write this is outside and what it can be written as 1 plus s y omega p1 1 plus beta a naught okay so what can be said here i can write it as a closed loop dc gain divided by 1 plus s y omega closed loop okay so what we can see here dc gain of closed loop system of closed loop system is what your acl zero which is nothing but open loop dc gain uh, which is nothing but no, a of zero or i would say one plus beta a of zero or a naught 1 plus beta a naught okay so this is the closed loop dc gain and what is my omega closed loop that i call the 3db closed loop frequency is what your open loop frequency that is omega p1 times 1 plus beta a naught okay so from these things I, if i uh, uh, call what is your UG frequency that we'll see later. Okay, so from here what we have seen for open loop system, uh, for open loop system, 
for open loop system what is uh, we have seen uh, this dc gain is a of 0 or that I will say open loop is my a naught and uh, omega 3 db is what omega p1 okay <coughs> now for the, about the closed loop system okay and for the closed loop system closed loop system this is my a closed loop dc gain is what open loop gain divided by this factor 1 plus beta i naught okay and what is the omega 3 db for closed loop system omega p1 times 1 plus beta i naught okay so from here if we try to understand uh, just from this uh, uh, Bode plot uh, if this is the gain in db and this is the omega on log scale just i am giving you the intro type so what we can see here what we can see if this is my closed loop system having this gain and this is the 3d frequency this is the omega p1 and this is my a naught okay this is the a naught and what about the closed loop system for the closed loop system the gain can be uh, marked as a lower value and uh, frequency as a higher value so what is this this is the a naught divided by 1 plus beta a naught this term 1 plus beta a naught and what is this this is nothing but omega p1 times 1 plus beta a naught okay so and after this the plot is coinciding so what is this point this point is called omega ugb sometime also called the omega mu what it is it is nothing but a times uh, means 3d frequency omega 3db means for open loop system what is the omega u it is nothing but a of 0 means dc gain times omega 3db so what you can say this is nothing but a naught and what is the omega 3 db that is your omega p1 okay and what about uh, this uh, for closed loop system this is for omega u for closed loop system this is for open loop system what it is it is a closed loop 0 and dc gain omega 3 db so this is the standard definition a times omega 3 db so what do you see this a is nothing but a naught 1 plus beta a naught what is 3d frequency that is a omega p1 1 plus beta a naught okay so what we can see from here we can see that uh, this uh, denominator and numerator are cancelled so what is this remained thing is your omega p1 so from here we can see omega mu for open loop system is equal to omega mu for closed loop system okay so this thing we have seen yes so this much is done so now we will see what is the uh, definition of 3d frequency and uh, how to find this omega ugb so two things uh, before closing this lecture one is definition of 3d frequency definition of <laughs> okay so what is this suppose i have written initially this is my a of s is nothing but a naught 1 plus so so what is happening at this omega p1 actually uh, what we have seen from the graph we have seen that uh, at omega p1 there is a rolling off in the gain so how it is happening i would say that if i mark this as omega uh, magnitude and what it will be under the root 1 plus omega y omega p1 so i will say two cases case one case two so in case one i will consider that this omega y omega p1 is greater than one so i can say the square term is much greater so what can be seen the a of omega magnitude is what your a naught divided by uh, omega y omega p1 okay 
सो वट आई कैन से इट इज नथिंग बट ए नॉट ओमेगा पी वन बाई ओमेगा एंड सेकेंड केस ओमेगा वाई ओमेगा पी वन इज लेस देन वन सो आई कैन से माई वन इज डोमिनेटिंग ओवर दिस स्क्वायर टर्म सो आई कैन से दिस इज नथिंग बट ए नॉट वाई वन विच इज ए नॉट सो वॉट यू कैन सी फ्रॉम हियर दैट आफ्टर इफ दिस ओमेगा वाई ओमेगा पी नो ओमेगा पी वन इफ दिस इज द ट्रांजिशन पॉइंट ओके सो यू विल सी ओमेगा वाई ओमेगा पी वन इक्वल टू वन इज ट्रांजिशन पॉइंट ट्रांजिशन पॉइंट ओके बिफोर इट द गेन इज कॉन्स्टेंट एंड आफ्टर दिस गेन इज रिड्यूसिंग विद द फ्रिक्वेंसी ओके सो वॉट वी कैन सी फ्रॉम हियर omega equal to omega p1 is your transition point before this the gain is constant and after this gain is rolling off with some frequency so what uh, actually you can say this gain is uh, constant a gain is constant uh, for omega um, less than omega p1 from this condition and the gain is nothing but a not omega p1 by omega it is greater than omega p1 okay so from here what we can see if this is my omega p1 and this is my in general omega on log scale then what we can see <coughs> what we can see before this frequency this is the asymptotic plot real uh, in real it is different thing so this is a not and after the it is reducing okay it is uh, it is a log scale so it is linearly reducing otherwise it is a inversely proportional to omega so it is reducing like this so yeah so what we can see uh, what will happen at this value omega equal to omega mu okay so what will happen at the omega equal to omega mu from here we can see if omega equal to omega mu which is also equal to a not omega p1 which we have seen in the previous slide so what i can say the magnitude of my gain that is uh, gain magnitude is that upper term is also uh, means uh, this is my a not omega p1 divided by omega mu and this is also omega mu so we can say it is cancelled to 1 so what we can see this magnitude is nothing but 1 on dv scale it is called 0 dv so this is also called the unity gain point unity gain or on the dv scale it is called the 0 dv line okay 1 means 0 dv so what we can see other way this is the definition of Three dB frequency. Three dB frequency is a transition point. Transition point in the gain plot. Before it, gain is constant. Before it, gain is constant, and after it, gain is rolling off. Rolling off at the rate of twenty dB per decade. on the log scale okay so what uh, we have seen so the 3d frequency is nothing but a uh, point of transition before that gain is constant and after that gain is rolling off with the slope of minus 20 dv per decade okay this is the you know <coughs> so actually it is not like that the rolling of phenomena start uh, much earlier so it is something like this so this uh, ro rolling of phenomena start in reality it is something like this so in actual this is the rolling off <coughs> but asymptotic plot we can consider it as a piece by or la uh, linear model <coughs> okay so this is a now one more thing that is a ugb definition that i will also clear here only Uh, from uh, one way of derivation we have seen 
it ugb is nothing but defined from here uh, this point we have uh, defined the ugb and one more directly from the transfer function you can see if this is my transfer function what is the ugb okay 1 plus s y omega p so ugb means unity gain bandwidth so the frequency when my this gain is 1 so what is the magnitude simply you can see magnitude is and y omega y omega p1 square and it is expected at omega equal to omega mu or omega ugb my omega by omega p1 is much much greater than 1 so you can directly neglect the one which is nothing but omega y omega p1 when this magnitude is equal to 1 it means your omega is coming as a naught omega p1 is also called omega which is a ugb okay so from two b points we can see what is the ugb what is the uh, 3d frequency and what is the definition of 3d frequency what is the ro uh, rolling of uh, mechanism here uh, okay so we can see few things uh, later uh, many things we have to see in the coming videos so as of now for this video i have covered two things uh, mainly open loop system and closed loop system and their definitions 3d frequency ugb and bit and their dc gains with some plot and later we will see what is the loop gain and uh, how this loop gain is used for the stability analysis purpose and uh, then exactly we will see uh, inside this uh, uh, 5 transistor OTA structure how to calculate the pole how to calculate the zeros then writing the transfer function then again do its analysis in closed loop system or unity feedback system okay so this is enough for this video thank you